In a world where technological advancements are happening at breakneck speed, few developments have sparked as much intrigue and unease as the rise of quantum computing. Imagine a machine so powerful that it can solve problems in mere minutes, problems that would take the best supercomputers of today ten septillion years to crack. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's not. Google, a company already at the forefront of technological innovation, has made a quantum leap, literally with its latest quantum chip. But this time, the implications are far more profound than just faster computing. Scientists are now grappling with a discovery that could fundamentally alter our understanding of reality itself. What if I told you that Google's quantum chip might have just uncovered evidence of the multiverse? That's right. The multiverse, a concept once relegated to the realms of theoretical physics and science fiction, may now be closer to reality than ever before. This revelation has sent shockwaves through the scientific community raising questions that touch on the very fabric of existence. What does this mean for our understanding of the universe? And more importantly, what are the implications for humanity? In this deep dive, we'll explore the groundbreaking experiment that led to this discovery, break down the concept of the multiverse, and examine why scientists are both exhilarated and terrified by what Google's quantum chip may have uncovered. Buckle up. This is going to be a wild ride. Before we dive into the specifics of Google's breakthrough, let's take a step back and understand why quantum computing is such a big deal. Classical computers, the ones we use every day, rely on bits to process information. These bits exist in one of two states, zero or one. It's a binary system that has powered the digital revolution from smartphones to supercomputers but quantum computers operate on an entirely different level. Instead of using regular bits, quantum computers use qubits, quantum bits. Qubits are revolutionary because they can exist in a superposition of states, meaning they can be both zero and one simultaneously. This property allows quantum computers to process information at speeds and efficiencies that classical computers simply can't match. Imagine solving complex problems, like simulating chemical reactions or decrypting codes, that would take traditional computers millennia to crack. That's the promise of quantum computing. But here's the catch. Quantum computing is still in its infancy. Qubits are incredibly unstable and sensitive to their environment. Keeping them in a stable superposition long enough to perform calculations is no easy feat. Despite these challenges, Recent advancements have brought us closer to practical applications, and Google has been leading the charge. In 2019, Google made headlines when it announced it had achieved quantum supremacy. This term refers to a quantum computer performing a calculation that would be practically impossible for a classical computer to complete in any reasonable amount of time. Google's quantum chip, named Sycamore, successfully solved a complex problem in just 200 seconds, a task that would have taken the most powerful supercomputers thousands of years. This milestone was a monumental step in the development of quantum computing, but it was just the beginning. As it turns out, Sycamore wasn't just a powerful calculator. During one of its experiments, something unexpected happened, something that no one saw coming. The quantum system began behaving in ways that defied expectations, producing data that hinted at something far more profound than just computational efficiency. The results suggested that the quantum states were being influenced by factors beyond our three-dimensional reality. In other words, the data pointed toward the existence of the multiverse. During Google's experimentation with the Sycamore chip, researchers were running a series of quantum calculations. While the chip was performing its tasks, something strange occurred. The quantum system began to exhibit interference patterns that shouldn't have been possible according to classical quantum mechanics. These patterns weren't random or inconclusive. They were consistent, and they pointed toward the possibility that the quantum states were interacting with something beyond our universe. This discovery has led scientists to speculate that the quantum system might have been tapping into other universes within the multiverse. In quantum mechanics, particles can exist in multiple states at once, 
but they collapse into a single state when observed. However, the data from Google's quantum chip suggested that these states weren't just collapsing into one reality. They were interacting with multiple potential realities. This would imply that the quantum system was influenced by factors from parallel universes. While this doesn't provide definitive proof of the multiverse, it certainly raises the possibility that our understanding of reality is far more complex than we've ever imagined. The implications are staggering, and scientists are both excited and alarmed by what this could mean. Deutsch was one of the first scientists to explicitly connect quantum mechanics with the multiverse. His work, particularly in the 1980s, built on the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics proposed by Hugh Everett in the 1950s. The many worlds interpretation attempts to show that every quantum event results in a branching of the universe into multiple coexisting realities. For example, if a particle can exist in two states, the universe splits into two versions, one for each state. These branches are not merely hypothetical, but are thought to represent real parallel universes. Deutsch extended this idea to quantum computing. In his view, when a quantum computer performs a computation, in broad strokes, it simultaneously processes information in multiple parallel universes. Each computation takes place in a distinct branch of reality, and the quantum computer effectively leverages this multiplicity to solve problems that are impossible for classical computers. In practical terms, Deutsch argued that the extraordinary efficiency of quantum algorithms, such as Shor's algorithm for factoring large numbers, can only be fully understood if quantum computers are seen as working across parallel universes. This interpretation has been highly influential, though not, as we shall see, universally accepted. Still, the idea remains a cornerstone of the multiverse argument in quantum mechanics. The claims surrounding Google's Willow chip resonate with Deutsch's theories, as the chip's computational feats appear to align with his description of quantum computing as an inherently multiverse-dependent process. However, skeptics caution that Deutsch's interpretation is one of many competing frameworks within quantum mechanics, and more experimental evidence is needed to validate or refute the multiverse hypothesis. To understand why this discovery is so groundbreaking, we need to dive into the concept of the multiverse. The multiverse theory suggests that our universe is not the only one that exists. Instead, there may be countless other universes, each with its own set of physical laws, constants, and realities. In some versions of the theory, these universes exist side by side, undetectable by our instruments. In others, each universe could be radically different, containing alternate versions of ourselves or entirely different forms of life. There are several types of multiverse theories. 1. The Bubble Multiverse According to this theory, our universe is just one bubble in a much larger multiverse. Other bubbles could contain entirely different universes with different physical laws. These universes may not interact with one another, meaning they remain separate and inaccessible. 2. The Many Worlds Interpretation This is one of the most well-known theories, especially in quantum mechanics. It suggests that every time a quantum event occurs, like a particle being in one state or another, the universe splits into multiple versions. Each version represents a different outcome of that event, meaning every possible outcome is realized in some branch of the multiverse. 3. The String Theory Multiverse String theory, which attempts to explain the fundamental nature of particles, suggests that there are extra dimensions beyond the familiar three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could give rise to multiple universes, each with its own unique properties and physical laws. Each of these theories proposes a different model of how the multiverse could work, but they all share one thing in common, the idea that our universe might be just one of many. Now that we have a basic understanding of the multiverse, let's explore how Google's quantum chip might have detected it. 
During their experiments with Sycamore, the quantum computer was tasked with solving a particularly complex problem related to the optimization of certain quantum states. As the calculations progressed, something unusual occurred. The quantum chip began to show signs of interference patterns that shouldn't have appeared according to the expected results. These patterns seem to suggest that the quantum states were being influenced by factors outside the realm of normal quantum mechanics. Some researchers believe that this could be a signal of an interaction with other universes within the multiverse. In simple terms, the quantum system might be tapping into something far beyond the confines of our universe. This is an astonishing revelation because it implies that our understanding of the universe and the very nature of reality could be far more complex than we've ever imagined. Upon learning of Google's unexpected findings, scientists were both alarmed and intrigued. On one hand, the data could simply be an anomaly, a result of imperfections in the quantum system or some sort of computational error. Quantum systems are notoriously tricky, and even small errors in measurement can lead to surprising results. On the other hand, if the data is correct, it could signal the existence of something that fundamentally changes our understanding of reality. If we are indeed interacting with the multiverse in ways we didn't expect, it would require a complete overhaul of much of modern physics. The implications of such a discovery are immense. It could open the door to a new realm of physics, one where the boundaries between universes are not as solid as we once believed. But what really has scientists concerned is the potential for unintended consequences. If quantum systems are truly interacting with other universes, could this pose risks to our own universe? Could the fabric of our reality be destabilized by such interactions? These are questions that need to be answered, and quickly. If the existence of the multiverse is proven, it will raise numerous ethical questions. Should we continue experimenting with quantum systems if they have the potential to interact with parallel realities? What if these interactions have unforeseen consequences? Could quantum computers inadvertently open rifts between universes, unleashing forces we are not equipped to handle? The ethical dilemmas surrounding this discovery are not something that can be ignored. Scientists must now consider whether the pursuit of quantum supremacy is worth the potential risks. For now, the excitement of discovery is tempered by the deep uncertainty about what could come next. Despite the potential risks and uncertainties, Google's quantum chip discovery has undeniably opened the door to a new era of scientific exploration. It's a momentous breakthrough that could provide answers to some of the biggest questions humanity has ever asked. Are we alone in the universe? Is our universe unique, or is it just one of many? What is the true nature of reality? The fact that quantum computing may be able to detect and interact with the multiverse challenges everything we thought we knew about space, time, and the fundamental laws of physics. It's an exciting, terrifying, and awe-inspiring prospect, and it marks the beginning of a new chapter in science one where the boundaries of what we know are pushed further than ever before. As the world watches in awe, the next steps will be crucial. Researchers will need to continue examining the data, refining their methods, and ensuring that quantum computing can be used safely and responsibly. But no matter what happens next, it's clear that Google's quantum breakthrough has fundamentally altered the way we look at the universe and may have just opened the door to a whole new reality.